brother, it turns out your cell phone doesn't like it either. Apple recommends keeping iPhones in above freezing temperatures. Anything below 32 can hurt your charge. So how about this good question? How does the cold kill batteries? Because we see this in our car, too. Yes, we um, do. And I left pain. my phone in my car by accident last week. Oh, no. Ooh, ooh, I went back an hour later, and it was dead. Yeah. It was a dead dead. Did it like need to be recharged? Because sometimes you bring them right. back in and they get better in the warm. Right. It wasn't destroyed. So, but it wasn't it was. destroyed. It eventually yeah. turned back on. <laughs> um, but it, I had to bring it back inside. You're supposed to bring them back inside into room temperature, not use a blow dryer, not put any extra oh. heat on them. And what's interesting, what I learned, which was important, which I didn't do, was you're not supposed to charge them when you bring them back in. Let them heat up. Let them start back on their own because you don't know exactly what happened to that phone, yeah. and if you start charging it again, you could have a short in oh, some sort of problem, right? right. Uh, so what's actually going right. on? Why is it that the extreme cold you know, yeah. you see this where you go from a 60% charge to a yeah. 5 right. to, like, done. And as one guy said in the story, he said, it always happens when you're waiting for your Uber. <laughs> so, yes, <laughs> you go from 20% to zero in three minutes. You're watching the car yeah. come around the and corner, then, and then, boom. boom. Yeah. That, is, that is peak first world problem. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, uh, I'm waiting for my Uber. The other funny something. part, too, okay. is there was a woman, she said she was meeting her friend for lunch, and they were texting, and her phone died, too. And I said, well, how did you find your friend? She said, the old-fashioned way. We met at the time and the place we said we were going to meet at. Like, how did we survive before? Right. So what exactly. actually happens yeah. to inside of the battery? That yeah, makes them and the not same work. thing happens in car batteries and in these uh, cell phone batteries is there's a positive electrode and a negative electrode, and they swim around in this sea of lithium ions, which is why they're called lithium ion batteries. And when it gets cold, the sea starts to get thicker and more viscous, so the lithium ions kind of slow down, and that chemical reaction can't happen as quickly and your battery starts to so that's go. why it's not gone forever when no. typically they die because right. they can just warm back up and they start working again. absolutely that's that solvent then starts to become yeah. less thick and uh, then once it starts up again sure. you think about like swimming through a, a, a swimming pool of chicken noodle right. soup yes uh, versus it's right. you know yes. a clear bra right. Right. right exactly <laughs> and it's, a I mean, slower. we all kind of slow down nobody works as well you ever swim in a like that a of swimming, chicken noodle broth that of, I, I have pudding? <laughs> how about pudding pudding oh pudding that would be a good analogy that's like yeah. really cold I like yeah. That. yeah yeah don't swim in pudding don't do also. that don't put your cell phone in pudding don't do <laughs> there's a lot of things this is useful advice yeah. there's a lot that's of good this is news folks. you can yeah, use on go. this show i'll let you two continue this conversation what else should we not put our cell phone in? this is ridiculous yeah